Located in the northeastern corner of Tennessee in an area of high mountain ridges and wide rolling valleys, East Tennessee State University has, since its founding in 1911, served the people of Southern Appalachia through a wide range of educational and cultural programs. ETSU is located in the tri-cities of Johnson City, Bristol, and Kingsport, a rapidly growing regional industrial center. A component of the Tennessee State University and Community College system, the university has an enrollment of over 10,000 students. A main campus in Johnson City of 325 acres containing 66 major buildings and branch campuses in Kingsport, Bristol, Elizabethan, and Greenville. Because of its location in the mountain region, ETSU influences and is influenced by the cultural heritage which has come to be identified with Southern Appalachia. The recent establishment of the Institute for Appalachian Affairs exemplifies the university's commitment to quality education and scholarly research directed at preserving the social and cultural heritage of the Southern Appalachians. The Archives of Appalachia, located within the Sherrod Library, has as its mission the collection and preservation of historical materials relating to the economic, political, and cultural heritage of the region. In particular, the Archives seeks the papers of those persons and organizations active at the grassroots or local level in economic, political, and cultural activities. Materials that go into the archives range widely. Personal collections often include private correspondence, diaries, notebooks, photographs, pamphlets, and books. For example, we have the personal papers of Gordon Ebersole, the noted U.S. Interior Department specialist who has done so much in the decades since the New Deal era to develop the natural resources of this area. Like private papers, organizational collections include correspondence and photographs, as well as ledger books, computer records, memoranda, and office files. The Magnet Hosiery Mills collection is an example of one of the organizations that have donated their records to the archives. Besides manuscripts, photographs, and other paper documents, the archives has and continues to collect tape recordings, videotapes, and films related to our collecting theme. The archives also houses the records of the Washington County Courthouse. Dating back to the 1790s, these are Tennessee's oldest records. The broadside television collection includes not only the official papers of this regional experiment in local programming, but also 600 hours of videotape. The physical facilities for the archives of Appalachia provide environmental controls to combat the effects of light, heat, and moisture to fragile documents. As collections come in, they are registered, cleaned, organized, and housed in specially designed acid-free archival storage boxes. Photographs require special conservation treatment and are therefore housed separately. Maps like this old Cherokee Treaty map and other oversized documents also require special storage cabinets. When we are through processing a collection, we produce a finding aid or guide that helps our patrons use our research material. Finally, we register each collection in the National Union Catalog of Manuscript Collections at the Library of Congress. The publication produced tells researchers throughout the United States what is housed at the Archives of Appalachia. The Archives is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Our staff is available to help students and scholars in their research. We also make available a wide range of publications, including a quarterly newsletter and a conservation primer to provide our patrons with useful and up-to-date news on our activities. The Archives of Appalachia continues to seek papers, photographs, and records of individuals and organizations in the region. If you have or know of such collections of historical materials, we would like to hear from you. Our address is provided in the flyers that accompany this program. As you can see, the Archives serves the community in many ways. While East Tennessee State University generously supports our work, we need the help and support 
of the greater community if we are to continue. We have therefore established the Archives of Appalachia Fund within the ETSU Foundation. Contributions of money or materials to this fund will supply equipment, supplies and services which present funding cannot provide. All gifts are tax deductible. Contact the director, the Archives of Appalachia, for details. Our purpose today is to bring before you some of the collections found in our archives. While scholars and students are regular users of our facility, most people have no need to spend hours with us doing research. And yet, the Archives of Appalachia is a community organization which has much to share with the people of the region. For us, the problem has been how to share and still preserve those historical documents left in our care. The search for a solution to this problem led us to the Appalachian Outreach Program that we are sharing with you today. Funded in part by a grant provided by the National Endowment for the Humanities through the Tennessee Committee for the Humanities, the Archives is now producing and circulating a series of slide tape shows. Covering such subjects as the early Appalachian farm, the quilting bee, and the Tri-Cities recording industry, these programs are available free of charge to community groups throughout central southern Appalachia. The program you are about to see comes from the series. We hope you enjoy it. We also hope you leave this meeting better informed about both your community and its historical and cultural resources and what you can do as a citizen to better preserve them. If you need more information about the archives and its programs, please contact us. Remember, we are here to serve you. Enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs>